So in this video, I'm talking about how your focusing technique might be leading to soft, not quite sharp photos and what you can do instead to increase image sharpness. Now, today I'm going to talk about just one part of our four step framework for sharp photos that we teach inside Auto to Awesome, and that is technique. Now, what most new photographers do is use what is known as the focus recompose technique. And whilst that can be a valuable tool in some situations, in many cases, it can actually lead to your images being ever so slightly soft and not that tack sharp count the eyelashes images that you want. Now, for those of you who don't know what focus recompose is, it's when you do this. It's when you take your camera, you have to press your shutter to focus on your subject, and then you move the camera to a better composition. And that is exactly what focus recompose is. You focus and then you recompose. Now, the problem is when you move the camera from where you've pre-focused to this new composition, there is often at least a small shift in distance between the camera and the subject. Now, even though the distance between yourself and the subject hasn't changed, the fact that the camera is using a focal plane parallel to the face of the lens means that when you move your camera, you've essentially moved that focal plane. And that can be enough to throw your image slightly out of focus. Now, how much depends on a number of factors, including your aperture you use, the lens you're using, the distance from your subject, and even the direction that you move the camera in. So what should you do instead? Well, a much safer focusing technique is to choose the focus point yourself. And that way you are either not focus recomposing at all, or you're only doing it a tiny little bit. Now, how to do this changes between different camera manufacturers and different models, but just look in your autofocus settings and choose something that will allow you to select your own focus point. That way you can take control of your focus points for each photo and simply choose the one that is closest to your subject when photographing. Now, all this doesn't mean that you should never use Focus Recompose, but it does mean that you should make an informed decision about what camera settings and techniques to use, and you'll find that your focus and your sharpness improves as a result. Now, obviously, this was just one teeny tiny element we spoke about today. If you want to learn more, be sure to sign up for my free class. You'll find a link to it around about where you're watching this video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again next week.